another fail proof recipe for you guys we are going to be making some yogurt donuts keep watching because of course it's a no fail recipe hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen it's your girl claudie and welcome back to my channel cooking with claudie on today's episode i will be showing you how to make super soft but crunchy in the outside yogurt donut african drop donut or the cameroonian party donut if you're new here a very big welcome to you to my returning subscribers thank you so much for all the support i have made one of my donut recipes before that's a normal donut and trust me it was amazing the feedbacks were so so splendid please take a moment to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed to start off with our ingredients in the mixing bowl i will be adding four large eggs at room temperature as usual i will be dropping the detailed list of ingredients in the description box and trust me it's gonna be a no fall i'm adding some sugar right now the next to come in is melted butter so all the wet ingredients are now combined in i will mix perfectly and when i mix everything together well combined i will now bring in my yogurt the yogurt i'm using here is the greek yogurt it is sweetened if you have any yogurt it's going to work perfectly so this is half cup of yogurt and it is, it is better if you bring your yogurt at room temperature and don't use like maybe cold or very cold yogurt now i'll add in my flour for the flour you can add in two batches or in three batches the flour comes in the baking powder salt and nutmeg for flavor if you don't have nutmeg you can use lemon zest or vanilla extract so mix everything until perfectly combined When the second or third batch of flour comes in, you will see that your dough is becoming hard. But do not bother. What you're going to do at this point is to add water. So what I did with mine is I was adding water, not cold water, just normal water at room temperature. I used like um, half cup of water for mine. But yours, keep adding water in tablespoons so you have the required consistency. Because I don't know how much you have measured your flour and guys one thing you have to know is flour is the one of the major culprit for any baking mistakes so like i said keep adding water till you reach this consistency i used half cup of water to reach my own consistency so in a pot of hot oil now scoop the butter and deep fry i have another video where i was showing four different ways to scoop mold anything you want to fry i'll be dropping the link for you guys to check it out either you scoop it out with a spoon or you can do it by folding your palms like this either way that is perfect for you you can go ahead with it What I usually do for all my donuts to have a perfect color or a uniform color, I keep stirring from time to time so that they all achieve the same color. So now everything is looking good. When it has turned that beautiful golden brown color, you can now put in a strainer so that some leftover oil comes out. So now I will be showing you how it looks in the inside. Super soft in the inside and very crunchy in the outside. 
so guys i hope you get to try this recipe like you all know all my recipes are no fail if you have tried other my, my other recipes you can testify to that and thank you so so much for watching to this point i appreciate all the love all the support the comments the likes the feedbacks i appreciate everything till we meet again in my next video bye for now and keep trusting my recipes lastly stay safe